where safe operating depths or other human factor limitations restrict the use of a diver-deployed solution, TSC's remotely deployed ACFM solutions have proven to be a successful alternative. TSC's node scanner can operate at depths of up to 100 meters. The node scanner features precisely engineered stainless steel components, ideal for robust offshore deployments. Its three specialized motors provide three degrees of movement for the probe gimbal mechanism, and its teach and learn feature allows for precise and repeatable scanning. TSC's specialized array probes provide high resolution defect detection, and a further selection of probes can be fitted to suit client or scanning geometry requirements. The node scanner is simple to integrate into existing work-class ROVs. Once installed, the training requirements for the ROV pilot and support staff is minimal. TSC's experienced ACFM operators and technicians conduct the completion of the inspection targets. By negating the need for an expensive diver support vessel program, the node scanner can provide a cost-efficient solution for complex inspection geometries. Entire diver teams and diver support infrastructures can be replaced by a small team of topside TSC technicians and operators. In preparation for the inspection, the weld must be cleaned to SA2 standards and the surrounding areas to SA1. Cleaning to SA2.5 levels is not necessary because coatings and residual marine growth do not obstruct the ACFM scanning technique. A variety of cleaning techniques, such as a high-pressure water jet, can be used to perform this task. The tooling for both the cleaning and inspection is delivered from an ROV platform, the stability of which is supported by magnetic clamps that attach to the structure. Remote deployment requires coordination between the ACFM and ROV operators, both of which can sit side by side in the control room. The ROV places the scanner on the brace to be inspected. Once in place, the stability of the ROV is no longer required. The magnetic clamp is released and the ROV stands back to a monitoring position, allowing the scanner to work independently. From the control room, the operator manipulates the node scanner using its electrical motors to position the probe in the correct location on the weld. The probe is tracked along the weld using a semi-automated control system, which allows for complete inspection coverage and accurate scanning of the weld path. 